Thank you for joining me for a look at how to trade Fed days. Now I'm going to just walk through a quick way that you can know how to trade whenever the Fed is meeting. And if you like this video, if you want to see more simple trading ideas like this, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel below. Now Fed day is the day the Fed meets. So technically it's the Federal Reserve's Federal Open Market Committee. This is the widely watched Fed meeting. It occurs every six weeks, and they can have meetings like they did earlier in October between scheduled ones. And the reason they do that is to address something of significance, in this case, the repo markets and plans to expand their balance sheet. So FOMC meetings last two days. At the end of the second day, the chair comes out and holds a press conference. Press conferences are relatively new. Ben Bernanke initiated them. Prior to Ben Bernanke, the Fed chairs were notoriously tight-lipped. We only heard from Greenspan twice a year at his congressional testimony, occasional speeches, and he was famous for Fed speak, trying to say things that were confusing. Bernanke said, hey, we need transparency, especially during this financial crisis. So he began holding press conferences. The current chair, Powell, likes this idea so much that he's been holding conferences after every meeting, and he's trying to provide transparency so the Fed doesn't surprise the markets. Now, surprises happen. Bernanke was the subject of a surprise known as the taper tantrum. Bernanke basically said he was going to pare back quantitative easing at some point, taper the bond purchases that the Fed was doing, and bond prices moved dramatically. Yields went from 2.2 to 2.45 over just two days. That's a huge move in this market. Bernanke subsequently backed off, and the market kind of forced him to do that. Powell has also been subject to surprises. On July 31st, the Fed cut. Traders were expecting more cuts. Powell held his press conference and said, we're looking at this more as a mid-cycle adjustment rather than the beginning of a cycle of cuts. And the market sold off. And you see the words mid-cycle adjustment and just the selling that, that happened. Now, I believe Powell is watching the ticker tape as he's giving his press conference because he really worked a few minutes later to try to recover. And by the end of the day, by the end of his press conference, he'd recovered about half of those losses. While surprises are unusual, volatility is not. On an average day, the Dow doesn't move much, but on Fed days, these are tradable price changes. And there's a simple technical sing signal that can help you spot the trend. Believe it or not, the simple MACD tool has been a useful indicator during the Powell era. Powell's chaired 13 meetings. So the idea here is buy when MACD is bullish the day before a press conference. Go short when MACD is bearish the day before a press conference. 69% accurate with that simple indicator. The short signal's accurate a stunning 85% of the time in a bull market. Now, when I say go short, you don't have to necessarily go short. You can use ProShares Short Dow 30 by the ETF trading under the symbol DOG. So you're not going short, but you're benefiting from the short move with an inverse ETF. You don't have the unlimited exposure of a short. Or you can use options using calls for a bullish signal and put options for a short signal. MACD is widely available. You have this information in front of you. You can ride the trend as it unfolds. You can capture a big one-day profit sometimes. There's no reason not to at least consider this if you're a short-term trader. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you.